Okay, homework and remembering. Unit 3, Lesson 6. They are now asking us to multiply mixed numbers by mixed numbers or a fraction by a mixed number. So, I just want to review this strategy as we go to look at number 1. 3 sevenths times 2 and a half. Okay. Right now, you may be looking at this and thinking, uh-oh, I don't have a fraction and a fraction to multiply by like we have been. Like in Unit 3, Lesson 5, the previous lesson, we were multiplying a fraction by another fraction. So in order to do this, we need to turn this mixed number into a fraction. So we're going to turn it into an improper fraction. So if we look at the denominator and the whole number, we multiply those together. We get the number 4. 2 times 2 is 4. Then we add that product to the numerator. 4 plus 1 is 5. And then we keep our original denominator half. So we have 5 halves. Okay. So now we have 3 sevenths multiplied by 5 halves. Now we can do our cross multiplication going right across. Numerators, multiplied denominators. 3 times 5 will give us the 15. And 7 times 2 will give us the 14. You can leave it like that, or you can say it is equal to 1 and 1 14th. So either one of those answers would be correct for number 1. Let's try one more and we're going to be converting a mixed number to an improper fraction. Number three. Two and two thirds times four and one fifth. Okay. Once again, we are going to take our denominator and multiply it by the whole number so that three times two is six. We're going to add 6 to our numerator of 2, which is 8. And we take that denominator 8 thirds times, well, we're going to do the same process here. Denominator multiplied by the whole number. 5 times 4 is 20 plus 1 is 21. Take that denominator fifths. Okay. Now, if we remember from our cross simplification, we can see that right now we have a 21 and a 3. Does 3 go into 21? It does. So a greatest common factor of 21 and 3 would be 3. So what's 3 divided by 3? Well, that's 1. And what's 21 divided by 3? That's 7. So now our new fractions are 8 over 1 times 7 over 5 and we get 56 multiplying across 8 times 7 is 56 multiply on the bottom of the denominators 56 over 5 or 11 and 1 fifth okay so hopefully um, you remember how to turn whole or mix numbers back into improper fractions because it's going to be extremely helpful in this lesson and for our unit tests. So remembering these skills from unit one will be helpful for you. All right. Have a good night. Good luck on the rest of your homework.